Do you have a JotForm store and need to share it with your customers? Let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm already in one of my store apps and I'm currently in the publish tab. And this is going to be where we're going to be accessing everything that we need to share our store and our app with our customers. Now, there are three different ways to share this with our customers, and each one has some nuances. So let's walk through each. The first one is going to be sharing the link. Now, every single store is going to automatically populate with public access, which shows right here. Now, in order to access that or to change that or even to have more options with public access, we can either click on public access, or we can click on the cog wheel right here for settings. And as you can see, there are three options within these settings. Again, it's gonna automatically populate to be public access, but we also have private access and company access. So as you can see with public access down at the bottom, there are two different options. The first one is going to be to require registration. Now, if you want your app to be visible to everyone, they click on your link, they scan that QR code to come to your app, in order to be able to see that without any registration, we need to make sure that that is turned off, which it's going to automatically be. But if you need to require registration before someone can see your app, make sure you check this on right here. Now, if we don't need that, you can always have this one, which is gonna be checked anyway to allow the users to access their submissions through your app. So if they have purchased something from your store, whenever they come back, they'll be able to log in using that submission data to access their information. Next, let's jump up to private access. And you can see down at the bottom, things have changed a little bit. So private access is going to automatically have that registration required checked. And because it's private, we are not going to be able to uncheck it. Next, we have that same one allowing them to access their submissions. And then we also have the option to set a custom link expiration date. So if we want to turn that off, super simple, we just uncheck it, but we can change that date to be very specific date and time, and you can choose the time zone as well. Next, let's jump to company access. Now with company access, it's going to be very similar to that private access. They're going to have to log in in order to see any information regarding to your store or your app. Now we can either choose that organizational email. So like for example, at jotform.com, or if you're an enterprise user, you can always require the SEO. We can see that Jotform enterprise right down here. And then we also have the ability to set up that expiration date for the share link. But those are the three options for the access of your app. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on public access. And this is perfect. We're gonna X out of that. And from here, we can copy this link and we can send it out. We can share this on social media. Now, the next way is going to be inviting people to view our store via email. So if we click right here, we can enter in our email addresses. And if we want to add an additional message, we can do that here, then press send to sign. Just keep in mind that it is recommended to keep it under 10 email addresses. And then last, we have the download QR code option, and we can either click the download button right here, or we can copy the code and put it on our website. But it's as simple as that. If you have any other questions about how to share your store with your customers, please let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.